Hi, my name is Gordon from Gimeo and today I want to show you how to create amazing looking email signatures using Gimeo's email signature generator. First we'll click on the new signature button and we'll fill out a name and email address. These are just identifiers so you can find your email signature later. Create a new group. You can name the group anything uh, such as your department or your company name. It's just uh, basically a name to hold a group of signatures. Click on create signature. And now we'll pick a layout. We've got over 45 layouts available, so chances are you'll find a layout that's perfect for your business. But if you don't, it's okay because you can just pick the layout that's closest to the design that you want and then you can edit it from there. It's really important to remember that all these layouts are completely customizable to suit your needs and your branding. Layouts are applied to groups, not individual signatures. If you need to make a signature with a different layout, you'll need to create a new group for it. All these layouts have been tested with many email clients and they've been minified and are technically really, really well coded. For this example, we'll pick this layout and we'll click apply. You'll notice we've just come over to the details tab and this is where we fill in our details such as our name, position and all the other details in the email signature. But before we do that, I want to show you a really cool feature about Gimeo that will save you a lot of time. If you select a field and open it up, you'll notice this section here that says apply this field to this signature or all signatures in this group. What this does is it lets you apply a field to all signatures in a group and this makes it so you don't have to repeat yourself for every single signature. So for example, this is the name field, so every single signature has a separate name. This is why it's applied to this signature only. But if you look at a field such as the address, it's applied to all signatures in this group and it saves you having to retype the address for every single signature that you create in Gimeo. This is a really powerful feature that saves you a lot of time. What we'll do now is we'll upload our logo. So click on the logo and then click remove. Choose an image and then we'll upload it from our computer. We'll crop it a little bit so there's not as much white space there. You'll notice that the logo has uploaded in its native resolution but we can just scale it down a little bit to make it smaller. We'll scale it to about 15% like so. Now what I'll do is I'll fill in my details. Simply click on the field and put in your name and then click done. You can do the same for other parts of your signature such as the position. I'll quickly now go through and fill out all the different fields. You can also insert hyperlinks for your social icons by clicking on the icon and then uh, filling the hyperlink in this box here. Since we don't have a LinkedIn or a YouTube profile, we can simply remove these um, icons from the list. You can also select any other icon that you like, or you can uh, upload your own custom social image but we won't do that today, we'll just set it to none. Now what I want to do is I want to change the colors of my email signature. So I'll click on my name and then what I'll do is I'll expand field style. You can use the color picker to select your color or you can just type in your hex code. I know the hex code so I'll use that instead. Click done when you're finished. Now I'll go in and edit all the other colors as well. And I'll also edit the tag styles by pasting my color in there and making them bold as well, like so. The social icons don't quite suit the color, so what I want to do is I want to make them the native color of the icons. So I'll click on them and I'll expand the field style and then click on the native social icon color. We've also got a bunch of preset colors here as well as different um, preset styles. But remember, you can use a custom social icon if these don't fit your brand. I'll do the same for the Twitter icon as well. One thing that I've forgotten to do is to change the color of the separator here. So what I'll do is I'll just click on the separator and then change the color here. 
And I also want to change the spacing a little bit because you can see there's not much spacing um, next to the logo, but there's a lot of spacing next to the um, contact information. So I'll make both of them about seven pixels, like so. And now it looks a little bit more even. I can also change the width of the separator by adjusting this slider here. But I'll make that one about three pixels because I think it looks best. I also want to change the spacing underneath my name and also underneath the contact information. So I'll just click on the space there and I'll change it to about five pixels and I'll do the same at the bottom here. Change it to about five and you can see now the spacing's reduced a little bit there. Now what I'll do is I'll head over to the layout tab. What I want to do is I want to add two new extra fields, the phone number and the mobile number. But before I do that, you'll notice that these fields here, email and website, are horizontally aligned because you can see the arrows pointing to the right. And you can also see it in the preview here, email and website. What I want to do first is I want to make them vertically aligned by clicking this arrow down. You can now see that they are one on top of the other. What I'll do now is I'll add the phone field by clicking this plus button in the section that I want to add it in. From the drop down box I can select an existing field that's already there, but since the phone number field is not already there, I'll create a new custom field. You can create as many new custom fields as you like, so you're not going to be limited by that. We'll give it a label of phone, and then select the type of field to be text. You can also add image fields or social icon fields as well. I'll add another one which is called mobile. And I also want to add tags to each of these fields. The tags are the prefixes such as e dot, w dot or a dot. I'll click on the settings cog and then click on this tick box here to add the custom field tag for both of them. Now I want the phone and the mobile fields to be above the email and website. So what I'll do is I'll click and drag it to be above the email and website. And I'll also do the same for mobile, like so. Since I'm not using icon 3 and icon 4, because I've deleted them earlier, I'm going to remove them from the layout tab as well to save some confusion. So I'll click on the settings icon and click remove field. And the same for icon 4 as well. Another great thing you can do is you can actually span this logo. And what I mean by that is if you have a look at the logo here, it's on the left hand side of all of the information. What I can do is I can span it down a little bit so the name and the position is above the logo like so. But I don't want to do that for the signature so I'll put the span back up to where it was. You can add more sections to the right hand side of the signature. You can drag and drop fields in there or you can add, also add sections to the bottom as well as you can see there by adding a new row. You can adjust the signature width by using the slider here. However we do recommend either keeping it at the default width or making it narrower as this makes it more compatible with mobile phones that have narrower screens. If you make your signature too narrow you'll notice that it begins to word wrap. I'll show you that now. You can see the address has moved on to the next line and that's because the signature is too narrow. So you might not want to do that. Now we'll head back over to the details tab to fill in our new fields. You'll notice that the new fields are listed here under empty fields. Click on phone and then fill in the phone number and then we'll also give it a tag as well of p dot so it's consistent with the other ones. We'll do the same for mobile and we'll give it a tag as well of m dot. Now since these are new fields they've got the standard um, font sizes and font colors so what we want to do is we want to change them to be in line with the other ones. So we'll head over to one of the existing fields and we'll copy the color and also remember that it's bold, 15 Calibri, and that's for the tag. We head over to the other tags, the new tags. So it's bold, 15 Calibri, and we'll paste the color in there. And we'll do the same for the phone as well. The same will have to be done for the actual text as well. We'll need to check what font and size it's using, and then apply it to these ones too. So 15 Calibri, black. 15 Calibri Black 
There we go. Once you're happy with your email signature and you want to install it, head over to the installation tab and then you can click here to get your signature. Make sure you use Google Chrome when copying email signatures as Safari and some other browsers don't copy HTML tables correctly. This is an issue with all email signature generators, not just Gimeo. Before we install our email signature, I want to show you a really impressive feature that Gimeo has. We'll head over to the Layout tab and then click Choose Another Layout and then click on My Custom Layouts. From here, what you can do is you can save this layout to apply it to another group. So what that means is if you uh, set up your groups as different departments, uh, instead of recreating all the design and all that sort of stuff again, you can simply save the layout and then apply that saved layout to the new group, saving you tons and tons of time. So what you do is you just click Save Layout and then type in a name for it, Save as Custom Layout, and this layout will then be available in your new group that you create in Gimeo. Now, what I want to show you is how easy it is to create subsequent signatures when you've created your first signature in Gimeo. But before we do that, I just want to make sure that all of my fields are applied incorrectly. So we'll click on my name. That's correct because it's applied to this signature. Click on my position. That's correct. Phone number. That's not correct. This is actually my individual phone number. So I want to apply this phone number just to my signature. And I've just done that now. Click on mobile. It's the same, same story. So it's my individual phone number, so I want it applied to this signature only, not any other signatures in the group. The email address, however, is a generic email address, and I want to apply it to all signatures in the group. So I'll actually apply it to all signatures in the group by toggling this um, toggle here. Website and address are all fine. The logo as well is fine. Now we'll head over to the Signatures tab and I'll show you where the magic of Gimeo really happens. Click on New Signature to create a new signature. And we'll put it in the same group, Gimeo, and click Create Signature. You'll notice that the name and the position is the same, but we can easily change that. You'll notice that the phone and mobile fields are empty because we haven't actually defined um, what they are yet. So we can easily just click on them and put a phone number in there like so and click done and you'll notice it pops up here with all the same styling as the previous signature and we'll do the mobile as well and click done now we'll head back over to the signatures tab so I can show you the differences between the two signatures you can see that the name the position the phone number and the mobile are different between the two signatures but the email address the website and the address are all the same and as well as the logo that is because we've applied all these fields to all signatures in the group so no matter if we create 50 signatures or 100 signatures in this group now all of these signatures will have the same address the same website and the same email address if you wanted to have a different image for each signature that is also really easy to do all you have to do is click on the image and then apply this field to this signature because every person is going to have a different um, image and then what you want to do is remove and then click choose an image. Since we're in my signature at the moment, I'll choose my image and I'll click done. Now you can see I've got my own image for my own signature. For the other signature, I'll go into it and then click on the empty field here, choose an image and then select the other image here. Now if I go back to the signatures tab, you can see each one of us has a different email signature with a different profile picture, different name, position and phone numbers but everything else being exactly the same. Once you've finished creating your email signatures you can email them to your staff. You can either email them one by one or you can email them all at once. To email them one by one you just select the signature and then click email to and then type the email address you want to email it to here and then click send. The email address that is listed here by default is this email address here that you've typed in when you're creating the signature. If you want to email multiple signatures at once you can just select them from here and then click email to at the top. You can email all the signatures to an IT administrator by typing their email address in here or you can email all the signatures to their owners by ticking this box and then clicking send. I hope this video helps you create amazing looking email signatures using Gimeo's email signature generator.
If you have any issues creating your email signatures or need help with the design, feel free to reach out to our support team and we'll be happy to help you out. Thank you very much for watching and happy designing.